I think nowadays to build anything, you have to realize that construction has fundamentally changed. It's a manufacturing process. You know, parts and pieces are coming from all over the world. They're expected to come at a certain time. They're expected to fit within fractions of inches. And so there's really no other way to accomplish that level of coordination without using virtual design and construction. It's a traditional process we've always done through shop drawings, but it's done much better and faster within a model because you're able to actually see every part and piece instead of digging through thousands of pages of documents. It's indisputable the value that you get from incorporating VDC into a job. When you put it in the model and you can see everything in context, there's no room for interpretation. It's this is possible, we can build this. Our main focus is how do we get a quality product? How do we reduce waste? How do we maintain schedule? And virtual design and construction is the answer to all three of those questions. VDC actually stands for Virtual Design and Construction. The whole point of the process is to try to get the contractor involved in the design early on and get a constructible model created. I often use the analogy of a car on a conveyor belt. You don't see the guys trying to design a steering wheel as it's going down the conveyor belt. That's already been thought through, it's already in the model. They just bolt it on. That's our goal with VDC at Katerra. Getting engaged with the design team early so that they're not reworking their design to make it constructible is one of the most valuable things that we can offer when we're doing the VDC process. This reduces the amount of CA that's needed during the project. By doing so, we get to a complete design much faster. The whole concept of what we're really trying to do is break down the silos. The architect is usually modeling, structural engineer, landscape engineer. So our first thing that we do is to say, we need to establish out of many models, what is our source of truth? We need to be in there well before construction starts. Then we can actually execute in the field with less problems and less challenges. Forty modeling is kind of the concept of taking time and relating that to a 3D model. So now that you have a representation of what you want, What's the order in which it's going to be constructed? By using 4D, we're able to take time and associate it with the model, bring it together, and actually be able to visually see how the building is going to come together. Here at Katerra, we're really pushing to create the 3D model as our instrument of service, opposed to the 2D documents. It sounds like a small thing, but it's a huge dynamic change. It's being able to look at things unashamed. This is how this building is going to go together. We see every part and piece. That way we can have complete confidence in what we're producing. Having a GC's input uh, and utilizing VDC to validate that input is really critical to saving money and driving down costs and schedule. 30% of construction costs right now is in rework. Using VDC helps us dramatically reduce that rework because we are planning the work and clashing the work early in the project before we ever are in the field. So VDC helps us immensely in the planning of the project. Typically, a schedule stands apart from the VDC process. It's really cool to be able to take that model with the schedule and say, here's what was gonna go in today. Here's what needs to happen next. Here's where people are gonna be working. Showing that to subcontractors is, is very powerful. BDC has an important role in safety. There's been projects where you would look at a shoring scenario or condition where it would have been a dangerous uh, thing to install. And so with the 4D modeling, we're able to say, we can't safely build that. And we were able to make changes in the planning stage before we went out there and executed the work. Here in Katerra, we're uniquely situated where we have the design team, we have the engineering teams, we have the construction teams, we have the whole process chain. We can all work under one umbrella where we can have transparency in a really meaningful way. In the past, VDC has been something that lives in the office. But as we move forward into the future, we're bringing the field along with us and we're training them. And now we're able to use BIM boxes in the field and we can see that live iteration of the model where they can interact with it and see real live updates 
and actually look at it in a 3D environment. From the owner's perspective, if their focus is actually being motivated to get this thing built and get it open and get some clients in there, then VDC is the most effective route to get there. One of the great things about Katerra and the reason I'm here at Katerra is they see the future. They see that VDC is the way to go. So working at Katerra for me means innovation and challenge. You know, we're, we're constantly looking for what's the best tool, what's the most efficient way to do our job. And the VDC process is really what allows us to be able to do that.